we start this episode at another caravanserai. Yeah, we drove one hour east from Sultan Han where we left you previous time. But unfortunately, this one's closed. Mm. But I think somebody has a key to enter. Yeah, there's no one around. It's a deserted village. Anyway, we're going to look around, or yeah. Anne is going to look around. I have to ask After around. this, we drive to the Ilara Valley yeah. and to Cappadocia. Yeah. First a few days of rest and then walking in Cappadocia. Hopefully, because mm. Anne is suffering a bit with her knee, unfortunately. Okay. But first, in search of a key. <laughs> in search of a key. people here, I spoke to the Imam, to his students, to young people here and they all say it's uh, from somewhere far away, from the governor who has the key, so you, you can't go inside. One of the guys offered me a ladder, it's only around 10 meter high he said, you can climb over but I won't. <laughs> no luck at the caravanserai, unfortunately, but hopefully we have more luck at our next stop. We're going to spend a few days, hopefully, next to a lake. It's like a crater lake, maybe it's a crater lake. Uh, it should be in nature. We just stopped here at the petrol station and it's to the toilet. Uh, we'll have a chai, a tea, and then uh, another 30 minutes to our stop. We just saw on the way a small uh, caravanserai. Because the first one was closed, so we're going to see the little brother of the other ones. Not a lot to see here, it's yeah. only a small one and All focused on tourism, yeah. big tour groups. All small shops inside. Uh, selling probably Chinese made stuff, cheap yeah. stuff. I can have a fresh drink. Yeah. And we had a tea here, yeah. because at the petrol station they had tea, they had tea, no. they had one here. So now another 41 minutes to our lake. We're progressing very slowly today. Uh, five minutes after our chai was a turn off to our lake. And we were passing like an abandoned village, like a war-struck village. Uh, and was to the shop to buy a bottle of wine and some bread. And in the meantime, I was looking at Google Maps, and it looks like there are underground houses here. So we're going to have lunch, and then I'm going to look for the entrance to that uh, underground houses and uh, the caves. This is the. Saint underground, St. Mercurius Underground City, City and, and Church. What a find, probably. <laughs> He's now at the ticket office going to buy a ticket. Well, because I think it's worth a visit. It consists of three floors, underground and a church. Yeah. Let's go inside. I just bought a ticket in the office. It's 50 Turkish lira each. So let's go inside. So smart these people because we're on the central plains here in Turkey. Extremely hot during summer and cold during the winter. And here very moderate temperatures, very pleasant. 
But now we have light bulbs and electricity. Imagine, 2000 years ago, all lit with fire probably. That's why some roofs are also black. Imagine we almost drove past. <laughs> Is no one? So happy we stopped here. What a find. A really smart people because once you come outside you feel the heat, you feel the dry heat on your skin and oh, it's, I'm not going to say terrible, I'm not complaining but it's really hot. And you also can see we are approaching a tourist area because just outside here is in a small market, a guy selling some uh, drinks and he asks four times the normal price for a soda water. Here, one minute down the road, only five lira for one soda. Normal price. Normal price. That. Oh. This is extra. <laughs> Same village and another underground city. Let's go exploring. And we're outside again. This one was smaller. And we both preferred um, the first one as more a Flintstone like feeling. These, this uh, underground city consists of more um, square walls. Cubes? Yeah, cubes. Collection of cubes. <laughs> but still, That's something special. glad we entered. Time on our side, we're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. After a day of sightseeing, saw so two caravanserai and two underground cities, we arrived at the Crater Lake. We are definitely not alone here. No, again, it's a popular picnic spot. It's a lot of garbage. And that means a lot of garbage, unfortunately. Turkish people. <clears throat> There's a nice breeze. Nice view of the lake. Probably we stay here tomorrow too. Yeah, we stay here tomorrow too. Rest day of for Anna her knees and hopefully we can go hiking. Yeah. Well, hiking or walking in the valley, in the Ilara Valley and uh, Cappadocia. Cappadocia at all. Yeah. I was thinking of. We got time on our side. We're in a state I'm so happy with my new glass. I bought it in the supermarket. Trying our first Turkish wine. I think it's a sweet one. It's a cheap one. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Only drinking, drinking, drinking. It's okay. Yeah. And tonight we have a barbecue. I have my last single use barbecue. Not yeah. good for the environment, I know. It's so easy to use. We bought already some rice. Yeah, we had corn. Corn on the cup, some uh, bell peppers, olives, bread. Olives on the bottom. Oh, we need. We can grill them? Oh, so I scored 
Nothing better than to finish our day with the donduma, the traditional Turkish ice cream. Oh, the moon is very good. Right, a few days later, to be exact, five days later, we stayed on the lake, the crater lake, for five days. But unfortunately, we had to leave because we were running out of water. And that's why we came to this little town. We're going to fill up really quickly because dark clouds are rolling in. It's like it's going to rain today. It's pretty chilly as well. But we had a good time. We had a very good time. We've met some very interesting people, a lovely couple. Uh, it's hard to say. He is. German American, she is Italian Australian, but what a lovely couple. We had some great nights together, had some dinner together, had a few glasses. We enjoyed it very much. And maybe we're going to see them back in Guremi. But first, fill up on water. We have arrived in the Ilara Valley, known for its lush green river and churches built into the rocks. You can walk here, there's a paying part, there's a free part. Uh, but we don't know what to do yet because it's a rainy day today. Everything is muddy here. I think Anne wants to stay here, spend the afternoon in the van, and go walking tomorrow. And there are different restaurants here with um, terraces on the river and they all offer free parking overnight for us. So maybe I think we're going to stay here. Yeah, we will. We've installed ourselves, first have a chai, a tea, already coming and afterwards we're going to walk because the sun is a little bit shining already going for a walk and then we come back for lunch here because we are allowed to stay overnight if you have food lunch dinner whatever first time It's definitely not a day to walk. We just had our tea. Yep. I went inside to take my Got shoes it and it starts raining again. Yep. So I think we have to hide this afternoon. It's not the whole day rain, it's raining, yeah. then it stops, it's sun, raining. It's very unpredictable. Yep. So probably hide in the van this afternoon, read a bit, maybe watch an episode of Breaking Bad. Yeah, perfect. The ladies are out. You see? <laughs> Hi ladies. Hi ladies. It's an early lunch. This. I made a picture, make a picture of it. Wow. Early lunch, picture time. Chips. It's been weeks since we had a plate of chips. Mm, and they're good. Crunchy. Yeah. And this lemon with mushrooms. With everything but. Very tasty one. We asked which uh, vegetables, oh. sorry, which vegetables they have. They can put every vegetable in there, but no cheese and no eggs. Throw in what they had. <laughs> Throw what you have. We decided we stay in Boris now because it's raining outside. So tomorrow we will visit the canyon. And canyon Churches and valley. Valley. Now we will watch. What we will watch? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. The heater is on. The heater is on. Lounge is out. Lounge is out. So see you tomorrow morning in the valley. See you tomorrow.
are now in the Ilara Valley. And, and as you can see, sunshine. Sun is there, much better, better than yesterday. So we're going to start the hike in the valley. And you can see already here in the rocks. Behind <laughs> yeah. us. They built different churches uh, 2,000, 2,500 years ago. Christian, I thought. Yeah, Christian. Christian churches. So let's have a look. Oh, we just made our way up. <laughs> Dozens of stairs Exercise. to the first, yeah, the first church, um, St. George Church, yeah. a rock cut church, um, 60 to 70 meter height. And it looks like we are very lucky for the moment because we were Nobody. at 8.30 at the ticket office when it opened and so far we've seen only one other couple. So we have this church for us alone. And there are frescoes inside. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to see the frescoes. <sighs> Cool. Let's go. First church, St. Uh, George Church is rather disappointing. The advertise is 60 to 70 meter high. But all you can see is some uh, tombs behind me and a few frescoes that are heavily damaged. It's definitely something wrong with humanity if you see how they damage these beautiful frescoes. But uh, other than that, you can't go inside. It. Yeah, maybe the other ones we have more luck there, but here, rather disappointing. Another flight of stairs to go to the second church of the day, the Jacent Church. And again, I think we have to go all to the top probably. To see the church. No, it's not at the top. Ah, I think we're lucky. This looks promising. Yeah, looks like a church, a real church with uh, five bays on top. See? Two floors already? Yeah. The other one, the first one, St. George. It's more like a chapel or a necropolis full of tombs. Tombs. But here looks like a real church. This one's the real deal. That's why we came to Ilara Valley. This adjacent church is really fun. Yeah. It's a rock cut church. It's amazing what they did back in the days. And even the church, when they sing, the sound is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Another church, let me recall the name, Daniel Pantonasa Church. Daniel Pantonasa Church. Again, a smaller one. But look at these frescoes, so beautiful, dating back to the 9th until 11th century. So well preserved. So colorful. Yeah, very colorful. I think it's South American. into our walk it's time to return uh, all the churches we visited are on the left bank little back is a bridge we're going to cross that bridge we'll and the other side. right bank and now. after lunch same as yesterday because <laughs> lemme <French fries. laughs> we're probably at our last church Serpent Church and hopefully last flight of stairs. We've done count we've done countless stairs today.
definitely save the best for last or one of the best so beautiful what a find coming here and then probably next we go to Guremi all tourists gather there and here hardly anyone so now descending back to the river and have a pleasant walk next to the river back to Billy City Man. Easy walk, very easy walk. Yeah. It's all very flat because we started in the valley. Yeah. Made it easier. And we started at 8.30. It was still cool. Now it's around 11 I guess. It's still okay. It's still okay but a little bit hotter already. But what a nice walk. Happy we came here. That we stayed here one night mm -hmm. for better weather. Yeah, waiting for better weather. I have a craving for chips. It's a long time ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Oh. At least 24 hours. 24 hours is a long time for chips. We had a great walk this morning. We woke up early so we could start, could start the walk at 8.30 at the office. It's really nice. It's in nature, the sounds of the birds. We have the river next to us. It was amazing. Of course, the main attraction were the churches in the rocks and I had a great time. Very happy I'm, I stayed one more night here to see it all. We're going to enjoy our lunch here, wow. then we pack up things, move on to first Silimi, Silimi Cathedral. It's also a church in the rocks. In the rocks. And then we move to Guremi. To see the hot air balloons and the Ogremi open air museums. Your friends back? Your ah, friends? probably our friends with the <laughs> yellow van. Yeah. We just arrived at Selimi Cathedral and to be honest, it looks amazing. Yeah, it's huge, this rock cut cathedral. And a lot of people. <laughs> Cappadocia, you know. But for this cathedral, you have to tune in next week, unfortunately. Yeah, because this is the end of this vlog. Yeah, we had a great time in Ilara Valley. A great time, so I hope you too. So if you like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, it was a pleasure. We love it. <laughs> so see you next week in Selimi Cathedral. See you, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.